Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill with episode number three in our run of Moon Ring. <laughs> so let's directly continue. In the last episode, we did not manage to completely clear the the the, the, the thingy dingy the dungeon. But instead, what we did was we uh, walked a little bit over the overland map and we uh, reached the first town. So that's where we are and I think let's go around here and see what this town has to offer for us. Here is a grazer. We can buy food here, I think. Let's see what we can buy. Hedgehog meat. Deer flesh, cow flesh, fowl meat, oh, <laughs> that does not uh, look very delicious, and mushroom pie. Let's take a look at the nutrition value. The hot, uh, hedgehog gives us five, the vention gives us a hundred, that's a lot. The beef gives us fifty, the fowl meat fifty, but probably not so delicious, I don't know. And uh, the mushroom pie gives us a hundred. There is also a demand down here. That's probably how how rare the particular item is in this town. Or so how, how much they would like to buy it. So fowl meat and mushroom pie we could probably sell for a better price. Let's see if we go for uh, to sell. Is there also the demand visible? Zero. Demand plus one, and it's a bit more uh, expensive. Demand minus one, plus one, plus one, plus three for throwing daggers. Is that what it means? I don't know. Minus twelve for the ancient metal. Oh, we've got twenty-four ancient metal here. We could sell that. For no, it's just one ancient metal. We can sell it for 24. I want to check if the price at the weaponsmith's shop is the same. Does he also give us 24? That would mean that the prices are the same all over the town. He gives us for the ancient metal 50. But we can sell it for yeah. We can sell it. Ah, the base price. Now I understand it. Uh, the base price is fifty, but since the there is a sale tax that decreases it by fourteen, and the negative demand decreases the price by another twelve. That means we get just twenty-four if we sell it here. That's how it works. Okay, interesting. Interesting. The hedgehog meat has a base price of 2 and the sale tax reduces it to 1. Ah. Okay, so we have to take a look at the demand. I don't know what deterioration means. Would be nice if somebody could tell me in the comments. It's zero pretty much every for everything, but um yeah. Hmm. Okay, uh, we we start to understand the the trading system. Nice. I like that. The prices are the same all over the town, but not this, uh, the same. Not the same on every day or so. This door is locked, and we find somebody called Pyrolia. Pyrolia. Hello. How goes thine day? Fair or foul? Can we talk about fair? Good, good, yes. And if we said foul? Foul? I must apologize. I didn't mean foul, of course. I'd be surprised you picked up on that. Must be my accent. I want to talk about the accent. Silence. Hello? Where are you from? Um, origin? No response. Okay, okay. Probably we can talk with uh, with this uh, woman later. So let's go upstairs here. Also another locked door. 
locked. The buildings on the side are all locked. And here we meet Aurus Taylor. You know, I've not seen the Archon for a good while. I hope they are not ill. Ah, uh, can you imagine a sick Archon? Unthinkable. The Archon is the ruling figure. They live in Moon upon Thos. That's where we are. Moon upon Thos. No reply. Okay. Probably there are some people who are just NPCs. That's another uh, guard. And even more locked doors over here. So we're back at the shops that we already knew. Let's go upstairs, upside from here and see what this is. There is an open door, but the house seems to be empty. Nothing to, found, to be found either. Orphoids. All the anti arcanites should hang. There are anti arcanites Interesting. There is no place for sedition in civilized society. I hear they want to end arcanic uh, rule. Oh my god, how dare they? Can you imagine the chaos? Long live the Archon. Uh, he's obviously a fan of the Archon. And here is a Cell Sword Guild. Aha, interesting. What can we do here? Hire a Cell Sword for 25. No, we don't want to waste our money on that at the moment. What do we have here? A pub. The pub and the Cell Sword Guild are in the same building. Buy a drink and discuss something. Town opinion. Nah, my town opinion is not very high. I don't need to spend money to find that out. Orpheus. And here we have another guard. Okay. Hey, doggo. I'd like to talk to the doggo. Doesn't work. So let's talk to Mel. Can you imagine if Caldera had day and night? <coughs> That's what the world was like before the cataclysm. Blinded one moment and shadow in the next. No, thank you. The volcano that rose up and filled the air with ash. All of the Sibaroan cities were destroyed. And then the sun disappeared. And ember filled the world. A terrible time. Oh, that's interesting to know. Didn't know about that yet. The Archon is so noble, they made such a sacrifice to keep Keldora in balance. Before the gods came, there was utter darkness, you know. Um, I hear the Dreamless can become Archon, but I'd hate to lose the voice of my god. It's interesting, there seems to be a lot of law about in this country. Faria. Ever wish you had a ship? I do. A mate of mine was sailing along the coast, just southwest of here. Saw a cave in the mountains. Can't reach it by land though. I tried, no use. Mountains and rocky cliffs all the way around. Yes, sir. Ira's not a fanciful sort, so I believe what what was said. Let me show you on the map. Information's no good to me, is it? Woohoo! No ship, no exploration. You know now the whereabouts of the sea cave. Use M to check your map when you are ready. Interesting. Can we zoom in here? Okay, that's the map apparently. We can zoom with... Z. 
Ah, down here is the sea cave. Interesting, interesting. We are here. There is a lost tunnel. I didn't see that when we came past it. That's pretty much everything we know so far. If we zoom out, we see the map is actually pretty big. Seems like there will be a lot for us to discover. This is locked. It seems like... Uh, like the not so wealthy part of the town. Let's see if we can find anything here. Uh huh. There's a there's a hole in the in the wall which we can get through. Might become interesting later. I hope we could find something in one of these uh, barrels. But now, oh, okay, okay. Who are you? Who am I? Nevin? I... I was he. In better days. Before I knew. I was the priest of balance. Here? Yes, here. This was my city too. No. I... Too much. I knew too much. More than a person can hold. I wish I did not. Not all truths should see the light. This world is wrong. They alter our minds. They make us docile. Even the serpents could not stop them. The serpent's eye, doomed, but you bear their emblems, so perhaps there is hope? Serpent's eye, I don't know how to say that. I... Moment. Uh, hope. Let's talk about that. They asked me to join them. A farmer, a thief, and a hunter. Were there more? They knew. They had suspicions. The moons. Not all is good in this world. Are there truly five? Are you so sure? Ha! Roche is still alive. And Roche knows. The last of the serpents. Those in Berlin know of him. Ah, a god to those living in the canyons. Ask of him there. Wait. Um... Truths. Okay, the word is wrong. We had that. The serpents. Don't hope. They asked me to join. Farmer, thief, and hunter. From Yarrow had a child too. Oh, that's our father! Our father is one of them, of the serpents. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that is why you have the stone. Poor thing. A thief from, from Herodas, sick of the life. They got him in the marshes. Um, uh, 
Hunter was last, yeah, Hunter. Killed by Sleathens in the forests. Fool. All you should beware, all should beware that beast. Oh, damn, there were more things we could talk about. I forgot it. What was it? Talk about they again, maybe? Cannot speak of them. Not while their moons are in the sky. No, they will hear. And I shall be gone too. Um... What did we start our discussion with? Topics discussed? It's up here. Hope, Roche, Farmer, Nevin, Thief, Truths, New, They, Hunter, Better, Moons and Serpents. So let's let's talk again about Roche. Maybe that helps us. Those in Barrowline know of him. Ah, God, for those... We had this. Um... Let's talk again about Nevin. Ah, I think we got everything. But that's interesting. That's a fallen priest who lives in the slums now and then and, and probably got a bit mad. Can we somehow get in here? Maybe there's a secret door somewhere. Oh, yeah, I found the secret door. Perfect. And we got 350 coins. Excellent. This one is locked too. Here we have the Archon's Heart. I want to try something out. Maybe we can get into this house through secret door two from the side maybe. If it doesn't work from the side, then let's try to get through the hole in the city walls and try it from, from the other side. Yes, another secret door. Perfect. A book on the shelf describes the methods used to harvest ember bane oil from the trash. Vicious, e-like creatures living deep in Calderon Sea. Interesting. Maybe we can do that now. Anything else in here? I don't think so. But this book is definitely worth. Can we get further here? No, we cannot. So there was a function for this hole in the city wall. We found already two secret places. So let's be very perceptive of our surroundings. This well looks pretty beautiful. Here's the Arkans heart. Let's go there later. At first I want to check everything outside. Wonder if I'll ever get rich. Ships are expensive. No response. It's another locked door. Let's check for a secret entrance. Psst! Wanna know a secret? Oh yeah, I do, Marinia. There's a fallen tunnel in the mountains on the way to Withershaw. I reckon it's full of treasure. Oh, and monsters. Probably all monsters, actually. Know that? Suddenly I'm not so interested. Let's talk about treasure. <coughs> oh, you're interested? Well, it's here on your map. Best of luck. The fallen tunnel was also marked on our map. Excellent. Where is it? It's over here. Quite far to the east. So it makes sense to go through, uh, through the streets, talk with everybody. So there's a chance that you get uh, important information. This gravestone is currently blank. This one also. So maybe this guy over there sells gravestones? Possible. Awesome. 
Or did we find the graveyard? We found the graveyard, indeed. Let's at first go... Oh, what happened here? Someone has carved. My heart hides behind a ward made by walls. A moon upon Thoth's graveyard. My heart hides behind a ward made by walls. Hmm. A riddle. What's that? Oh, okay, interesting. Just a, a joker painted on the on the wall. Henry of the Black Watch, surrounded by friends, even now. Oh god, the poor Black Watch. Rip Larry Lepper. Half man, half dog, all idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoever buried him didn't like him. Frederick. Inst instituted on craving his, his own headstone. Okay. Here lies Leon. The mushroom did indeed taste funny. No, oh, don't do drugs. Albert de something or other. A terminal number. Hilda lies forevermore just as she did in life. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, they're all dead. Treat them with a bit of respect. So we did not find an entrance to this building here. How could we come in there? I will try it one more time. Door is locked. Maybe we somehow get get in there from from another place later. Probably this is not an, a secret way for every single building. Hi, Mel. Kaldor is just fine as it is. Thank you. Locked all around. We already had him. What do we have here? Alchemy store. Interesting. An alchemy. No, we don't want to steal. What can we buy at the alchemy store? Ember Bane Wart Oil for 60. It's actually relatively cheap, I think, because of the low demand. Healing potions also for a cheap price. Water. This one's expensive. Antidote. Blackwater Draft. What does that do? A thin black drink that removes torpor. The drink is decoded uh, from Blackwater Root, the vines of which are set to grow where those experiencing grief threw themselves into the rivers of Caldera. And large healing potions, which are super expensive. Arnold's Panakesa, a sparkling golden liquid held in high regards for its curative properties. It is distilled from a secret blend of botan botanicals known only to the highest orders of sanguine witches. Okay, okay. Not bad. That's probably a super healing drink. Don't need anything from here at the moment. Occultist store? Hello, Mr. Occultist. <laughs> he says Rosetta, which was identified, if I remember correctly. Dust icon. Icon of Lords of Dust. Burn it to clear curses from this deity and shift moon phase to the ancient moon. 
Okay, that's icons from all the different gods, apparently. There's the faceted stone. It's all super expensive. Icon of the angels, harlequin icon, and a wolf icon. That's an icon for each god. At different cost, but all is way out of our league. A book title, Our Friends in the Sky, seems to be a study of each moon's individual traits. For some reason, it fills you with dread. You find a book titled Ancient Sibran H. One word catches your, uh, catches your eyes. Is, which means fire. This is the second word already that we know from this, these kinds of books. This shelf seems to be entirely filled with books on the many ways one might prepare Caldera's principal crap. <laughs> It warns against letting spores touch anything dead. But we mustn't forget to read all books that we come, uh, come across. Here's the armorer. And he sells lots of armor. For example, he has got a woolen cloak, round shield, buckler, large shield, hat, cotton tunic, cap, heater shield, Waxed cloak. A waxed cloak is probably not bad. The wooden cloak has two physical defense. Stealth modifier one tile. Not bad. Durability 10. And the waxed cloak. Cloak which protects the wearer from rain and dampness in general. Okay, that does not have any stats, but higher durability. A hood, stun defense, physical defense. Leather gloves, leather cloak, four physical defense, but no modifier to, uh, to sneaking, shields, a skirt, leather helmet. Leggings, leather armor, and non guard helmet. Let's see what we are wearing at the moment. Take a look at our armor. Um, we have a cap with two physical defense and two stun defense, cotton tunic, four defense, and Leggings with two defense. That's all our clothes. I, I definitely want to, to buy the cloak. I think that fits to our character. Buy a woolen cloak. I want the stealth modifier. Do we want anything else? A buckler, maybe? No, maybe not. This hat has better stun defense, but same protection as ours. This is the very same we have. The head has 10 durability. The cap has 10 durability. Zero. I think the head is plain better. Yeah, but maybe not worth buying. The hood, even more stun defense. Leather helmet, significantly better, but also heavier. The leggings here, leather armor, nine physical. Uh, it decreases our stealth. I don't want that. I think we'll uh, we leave it with that. But we bought this cloak. I think that's cool. Let's equip it. Cap, cotton tunic, leggings. The woolen cloak, here it is. Let's wear it. Nice. That increases our... What's that up here? A 
I don't know what these stats mean. Anyways, we want to wear the woolen cloak. Because it makes us more stealthy and we want to be a stealthy dude. So, did we miss anything in the very far right? Oh yeah, obviously we did. What do we have here? Street of the Gods. Yeah, the Street of the Gods. I remember one guy telling us that they will talk a lot to us. And since we've already spent half an hour walking through this town, checking the shops, talking to the people, I think this is a good point to end our third episode. No action today, just a little, little bit of, uh, of, 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 of wandering through the town and exploration. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I really like this. I think there's quite a lot going on in this little town. I hope you enjoyed it too. And I see you all again in the next episode. Until then, bye everybody.